What's going on, y'all? This is Boy Kev coming to you with another video, man. And this time, I'm going to be bringing you my week one Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I should say, Sunday week one NFL predictions. Um, I'm going to be picking all the games from, uh, from on Sunday. Uh, I, can't, I, I, I waited till they talk about my Kansas City Chiefs victory over the uh, New England Patriots on banner night. Woo! Well, I can't talk about that. That's been two days ago. So uh, I'm going to start, start with uh, picking uh, all the uh, games on Sunday. I'll, I'll probably leave my two, Monday's two games for Monday's about, a, about an hour before kickoff right now. So uh, I'm going to try to get these. Uh, hopefully they'll be up by before the games start. But, yeah. On to my predictions. Another side note, uh, I'm going to try to have uh, the score. I'm, 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 I'm going to predict a score for each of the Sunday games as well. So I'm going to have a score right down in the, in the description. Excuse me. It, I, no, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to make it a comment. I'm, I'm going to comment my scores of this game as of the My predicted scores of this game as well. See how I see uh, of these games as well. So we'll see how I do there. But uh, we're going to start off. With the uh, go 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 gonna go down the line. I'm gonna pick a winner of of each of the Sunday games. Uh, starting with the uh, Jets and Bills. I got the Jets. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I got the Bills in this one over the Jets. Still don't know about the uh, Jets uh, QB situation. So I got the Bills off. I got the Bills winning this one. Jaguars Texans. I think the I think the Texans will feed off of their home crowd. You know, especially after everything that was is so much emotion in that building, especially after everything that's going on with Hurricane Harvey and everything that J.J. Watt has done to uh, help that city, with the, especially with the fundraiser and all the work that he's done in this community. You know, I think the and they're on, also they're honoring first responders at the game as well. So I really think that they're going to be, uh, I really think Houston is going to be fired up and they're going to be ready to go. And I got the Texans big in this game. Steelers and uh, Texans. I had Steelers. I mean, they have all the killer bees back. Roethlisberger, Brown, Bell, and now Martavis Bryant re reinstated by the NFL. I mean, one of most more lethal passing attacks in the game, alongside with Le'Veon Bell, one of the, one of the best running backs in the game, all-purpose backs. You know, because he, he can help in the passing game too. So. Uh, and then too much defense for the rookie, Deshaun Kaiser. So uh, I got the Steelers big in this one. Cardinals and Lions. I think the Cardinals will get the, get the victory in a very close game. Uh, I think David Johnson has a big day for all you fantasy football users, you know, and all that. <laughs> that picked him up. I think he'll have a good day. Falcons at uh, Bears. I think, you know, of course, I, I think Falcons uh, are, out, are, out, are out to prove that, you know, Last year, the, well, the Super Bowl, you know, I mean that the Super Bowl was, you know, was a was morality, you know, uh, tough way to lose the Super Bowl, man. Especially after the great first half that they had to come back and completely, you know, be 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 shut out, be not, be, you know, be just be beat down and. Just have your offensive coordinator just throw the game away, <laughs> literally to throw throw it away, because I mean, they did not run. They had not they had not run as nearly enough as they should have. So uh, I think Falcons have a lot to prove coming into this season, or they gonna or they may act like it though. So uh, and then the Bears. Uh, Depending on what Mike Lennon does, I have uh, still I have the Falcons in this one. I think uh, Falcons put up a lot of points, and the Chicago offense won't be able to answer. Raiders at Titans. I think this is going to be the best one o'clock game of the day. Uh, obviously, Carr, Derek Carr, coming back after he breaks his leg in Week 14, signs a five-year contract, 125 mil in the offseason. Um, Uh, all the weapons around them, uh, Crabtree, Cooper, that good receiving core. Beast mode is back. Marshawn Lynch playing uh, for his home city, Oakland, California. I mean, we'll see how he, we'll see how he does. See if he's back to beast mode or not. Uh, Titans. I mean, 
I think the Titans can win the AFC South this year. I think this is their year. This is the year Mariota gets them a division title. I mean, seriously, I think this is the year he gets them a division title. So uh, watch out for them. They have a lot of weapons as well. You got Murray and Henry in the backfield. You still have Delaney Walker as a as as a tight end, reliable tight end, blocking and receiving. And then you have uh, the uh, Corey Davis, the fifth round pick out of excuse me, the fifth overall pick out of uh, what was that Wyoming, best receiver in the country last year. So watch out for the Titans, man. I think they got. The, I think they're going to be the sleeper team in the AFC. But again, I still have the Raiders in a very close game. Ravens at Bengals. I think the Bengals will win this one. Uh, Flacco still. <clears throat> I don't think he'll think Flacco at 100. If Flacco's not 100, percent I think uh, that's going <clears> to <throat> be a factor in this game. And then plus, uh, uh, I like the Bengals defense as well. I think uh, Andy Dalton, and AJ Green. I think they'll they'll have a good game uh, this this week. And then plus, uh, you know, uh, Joe Mixon into the man into the mix. I know what he did. You know the incident in college, the domestic violence incident. The video was just gruesome. Uh, but uh, I think he'll help out. You know uh, his run, his his help in the run game with uh, Jeremy Hill. I think they still have Giovanni Bernard too. I think that that'll open up big plays in the passing game. So uh, yeah, I got the uh, I got the Bengals in this game over the Ravens. Philly takes on Washington. Um, I got I got the Washington I got Washington in this game. Um, I like Kirk Cousins. I mean, uh, still still playing um, still playing for something on his uh, second uh, franchise tenure, trying to get that long term contract. You know, maybe somewhere else than Washington, but still, I still like uh, I still like uh, Washington in this game. Being to be Philly here in uh, Week One at home. Colts at Rams. I like the Rams in this one. Uh, I think Katago will have a bounce back year. I think golf will have, have a better year. Of course, Andrew Luck still out with, uh, with, with problems with his shoulder. Had surgery in the offseason, but it's, it's, there's still no timetable for his return, so you don't know how much time he's going to miss. Scott Tolzien is supposed to get the start at quarterback. So uh, we'll see how that goes there. And they, they, they just acquired Jacoby Brissett as well, so we'll see how that goes. But I, I got the Rams. In in, in 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 this one, Panthers at a uh, 49ers. Uh, uh, Kyle Shanahan, new coach with the 49ers. Uh, Brian Hoyer, I think Hoyer is going to be their starting quarterback. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got I, I got the Panthers in this one. They they look they look pretty good. I mean, the, uh, there there was a couple instances during instances during the uh, preseason where the. Uh, a 49er, the offense looked look kind of good, but uh, I'm still suspect on uh, Brian Hoyer, man, after all these years. But, uh, yeah, it'll be – yeah, I, I think uh, it'll be a big victory for uh, uh, Carolina. Cam Newton coming back out of the shoulder surgery. He's got a couple new weapons. Uh, uh, Christian McCaffrey, all-purpose back, and then he got another back out of uh, – that other back out of uh, – Ohio State, I can't think of his name. They'll still have Kelvin Benjamin. Still got, still got Greg Olson at tight end. They want Cam to run less, so I think, you know, those athletes around him will, you know, take some pressure off of him. I think you still have, uh, still have, uh, what's his name, Jonathan Stewart as well. So, yeah, I think, I think, I think the Panthers, the Panthers will have a bounce back here. I don't, I don't, I, I mean, it's going to, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a close race. I think for second in that NFC South division because you got the Bucks and you got the uh, uh, who else is in the South? Uh, Bucks, Panthers, and the Saints. We'll see how the Saints do. Of course, I think uh, Valkyries will probably win the South again. You know, like I said, with the high-powered offense and that great defense. So uh, I think it's going to be a close uh, second. I mean, you never know if if the Panthers. Are able to have a good year, and let's say let's say the Buccaneers are able to have a good year. Well, by the way, Buccaneers is off this week uh, because of Hurricane Irma. They were supposed to take on the Miami Dolphins. That game is they, again again that game is postponed. They will they they moved that game to week eleven because because uh, uh, coincidentally both the Dolphins and the Buccaneers have a bye week on on in, in week eleven of that week. So now so now that game will be will be moved there. 
And then uh, uh, both of those teams will play 16 straight weeks without a bye. So we'll see how that we'll see how that one goes. But yeah, uh, yeah, I, I think the NFC South could have three teams. That's probably I, I, that might be a bold prediction from me. NFC South will have two teams, three teams in the, in the playoffs. You know, it's in the Falcons as the division champion, and maybe. The Saints and it comes to maybe uh the either 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 those three teams could uh could be the two teams in the wild card spot. So we'll see, we'll see. But uh yeah, I got the uh, uh y'all yeah, yeah oh I'm sorry I had the Panthers I had the Panthers Panthers big in this one because like I said I don't believe in Brian Horry yet. Then we have the the best late game of the day. Seahawks uh, taking on the Packers. Basically, this is going to be a game. Of, uh, of 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 this 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 is a game of something's got to give between the Packers offense and the uh, C- C- Seahawks defense. Uh, Rodgers he, he uh, 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 bought uh, the pa- Packers brought in uh, Packers brought in Martellus Bennett and um, excuse me, Packers brought in Martellus Bennett to add to that already uh, add to that. Already great arsenal for O. Rogers, uh, uh, Nelson, Cobb, Adams, Montgomery, who's going to be playing running back. Usually he was a slot receiver, but they moved to running back when Lacey got hurt last year, and he did pretty. We did pretty well. He was pretty productive as a running back, uh, both in the run game and in the pass game. And you know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see what happens there. Uh, uh, also, he got the fullback Ripkowski. I think he's going to be pretty good going forward uh, for them. You know, they they like to use that those fullbacks. Remember John Kuhn, uh as well. Uh, he, he he was made made a name for himself with, with the Packers. So uh, yeah, I mean Seahawks added Sheldon Richardson on defense. I mean that defense. Pretty good, but I think in this game, Green Bay will have the edge being at home. Green Bay will have the edge being at home, so I think uh, I, the Packers will win this one. I think it, it might be a field goal to win the game. <laughs> it's like serious. I think the, it's going to be a field goal to win the game. So uh, yeah, I got the Packers late in this one, and then the Sunday night matchup. Oh, Sunday night, Carrie K- K- Underwood. <laughs> So beautiful. Uh, Giants versus the Cowboys in AT and T Stadium, Jerry's World. Jerry, Jerry's World has been the Giants' world, man. I mean, <laughs> I mean they've had some big wins since the uh, AT and T Stadium is open. Uh, but Odell Beckham Jr. with a uh, ankle injury. Uh, let's see. Uh, mm, None, none. Uh, you know, Ezekiel Elliott's suspension has been uh, has been uh, denied by a judge, so he could he could possibly play all year. I mean, the case still hasn't closed yet, so he might miss some games, but he might be able to play the whole season. Now, after 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 a judge uh, denied the uh, uh, denied the NFL's uh, suspension, so uh, we'll see what happens on that, but. Elliot and Elliot and uh, Prescott in the backfield. Prescott rookie of the year. Uh, Elliot offensive offensive player of the year. Was at fourteen hundred yards. Was at just gonna be fourteen hundred yards, fourteen touchdowns, or something like that last year. Pretty damn good. A fourteen and two last year. The Cowboys were they were their only two losses were to the Giants though. See, the Giants were the Cowboys kryptonite last year. So we'll see what happens though. Uh, I think the Cowboys will get revenge from last year. I think the Cowboys get the victory at home against the Giants in this one, even though the Giants have had had success in Jerry's World, especially on Sunday night, the first ever game at AT AT&T Stadium. Uh, uh, Eli Manning signed the wall after their victory, saying it's my house. But, yeah, I think the the Cowboys will get the victory in this one. So, uh, yeah, that's going to conclude uh, my Sunday picks for this one. Yeah, so that inc- concludes my week one Sunday NFL 
uh, picks. I will uh, come back tomorrow, Monday. I will come back Monday with a video to look at the, to pick the two uh, Monday night games, uh, Vikings and uh, Saints, and then uh, Broncos and Chargers. Okay, we'll talk about talk about those games. Pick a winner for those two games as well. And then hey, uh, on to the next. Hey, but thank you guys for watching this video. I wish y'all nothing but positive vibes only, and I'm going to see y'all in the next video.